I think it's just while I'm trying to figure out how to readjust my life away from hard politics into art and other things. Kind of keeping a very light touch on the political. Yeah, it's happening everywhere and it's happening here in Dunedin. It's a, and it's a tricky thing because there's, there is the issue of the preservation of, of the community and the nature of the community. And here in, in Waitangi in particular, um, you know, there's this, uh, there's this real um, strength of community, particularly on the swamp, um, of people who really, really broke alternative lifestyle, if you like, um, super creative, and the, the worry that if there's more and more development out here and more, and more houses being built, that that will change. Because it will change when you get a new, new people coming in. At the same time, we have this enormous privilege out here. We have a huge amount of land. We could have a ton more people living here. Much like the sewage system. <laughs> Can you taste this? Because at the moment, the bad sewage system just goes straight out. But, you know, notwithstanding sewage and water, the, we have this beautiful privileged place. And I think it's hard to argue that we should somehow maintain that privilege in the face of a housing crisis when our own community people are finding it hard to live here. Oh, um, yes and no. Here you go. Uh, that's the lawyer's answer. <laughs> yeah. Um, um, yes, in that uh, uh, my family are here, so my sister and my mother and um, uh, live here in Waitati, and there's heaps of people here. Like my social network is here. It was here before I moved here. If you know what I mean, and it's an incredibly creative one. Um, and people who are who do art in lots of different ways, formal art, informal art, performance art. Um, people who just live really creative lives. They're just in their daily life, you know. Um, and so, it's a great place to be if you're that way inclined, because there's always there's just constant opportunities for new thinking about how to live creatively, like. To live a life with creative values, you need it. It's good to be in a community that has those creative values too. Um, and no, in the sense that um, I, I'm very conscious that I don't live on uh, my own whenua. So I'm Natika Hanunu in, in Atiho, from Wanganui. And um, so uh, this is Kaitahu land. And so I do my best actually to avoid anything to do with a land based art practice. Um, my inclination, my personal inclination is people anyway and so I tend to do, I tend to always be thinking about people. And care. I originally intended it to show uh, a woman in pain but it, it, she just can't, I just don't seem to be able to do that. They never, they don't turn out injured, they turn out stronger. Okay. <laughs> they do their own thing. Yeah, <laughs> they are very much here. They're their own people and I can't seem to make them be what I want. They just turn out the way they are.